Right, so let's talk about where the 12 principles came from. The principles really come from a time in the 1930s in the Walt Disney Studios when animation was still pretty young. And the, the, Walt Disney decided he wanted to make a feature film. And he knew he needed to have a very compelling uh, aesthetic in order to keep people's eyes and hearts and minds engaged for a whole hour uh, in a feature film. Up to that point, people had generally been making uh, shorts and Mickey Mouse was still kind of a rat-like character. So they needed to evolve within that studio um, a very advanced aesthetic. There had been other feature films made, but they had used a, a cutout technique, like Lottie Reiniger had used little silhouette characters, little paper cutouts. But uh, Disney wanted to do a hand-drawn feature film, so he, he set out to, to push the aesthetics, and he started classes uh, in the 1930s, and, and, and constantly in all the shorts that they were doing, Flowers and Trees and the Old Mill and, and, the, and the shorts and the Silly Symphonies, they were trying to advance the aesthetics so that they could get to Snow White and do something amazing with Snow White. So eventually these 12 principles came out of it. It was finally um, codified uh, by Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnson in this book, um, chapter three. Everybody refers to this book, The Illusion of Life, and read chapter three uh, because we'll go back to that. Over the years, uh, especially in the last 30 years, uh, the principles have sort of expanded a little bit as we go into you know, computer animation. And there's some people say there's 28 principles. Well, we're going to start with the 12 principles that came out of this very, um, very, very early stage. And they, they're true today as they were in 1935 when Walt Disney made his first memo um, inst instigating the training program within the Disney Studios. I want to show you a picture of, uh, from the 1920s from uh, the Federal Schools Illustrating Cartooning here that just kind of shows you where animation was um, at that time. And you can see the, uh, at that time you had characters who would move kind of in a very uniform way. The spacing was very, constant and and there was a rigidity to things things were moving in the early shorts in the 1920s but they weren't they weren't believable and um and they weren't quite as as appealing as where disney was trying to take them so we're going to talk about how these principles help to evolve the art form and inform us today